Today I'd like to show you a neat little animation trick to help you organize, edit, and rough in your animations. We'll start by creating a selection set. We can do this and rename the selection set in the order that we're going to disassemble the object or reassemble. After we've got all our selection sets made, we can pull the objects up, reduce their opacity, and we want to pull those out in the order that, in the direction that we're going to reassemble the object. After each one's off screen, we can then grab the object in relation to the timeline. We can set a key, re restore the object's neutral position, and restore the opacity. Next, we set the next key, move the timeline, restore the neutral position, and bring up the opacity, and so on, until we have all the steps made. After you've got your animation roughed out, it's a good idea to look at it. We can also create some views that are related to the steps in the animation. So we can go back and forth and link if we need to storyboard the object. Now we can go through and check for tweaks, check for areas that don't work right well. So for example, in this position, these rings go right through the piston. So we need to filter the keys on since we have the selection. I can go back, take the last keyframe, copy it forward a little bit, and actually I'll copy it once more. And then if we zoom to these spots, they're all the same. So I can take this middle position and just scale it up a little bit. And then I'll go to the previous key. And now we can move this up just a little bit too. And then when we look at the animation, it's going to look a little bit nicer. The piston's going to come down, grab over the object, and collapse. So we do this for the rest of the animation. We look at the timeline, we go back and forth with the selection keys, we can scale keys, we can move timing, we can adjust objects, all based on filtering the keys with the selections. It's a very, very powerful way to organize and edit your animations. I hope this helps. Good luck.